Hello, people of God. Today is actually the ninth, <laughs> the ninth of um, the ninth of February, two thousand and nineteen. Oh my goodness, God is an awesome God. There is nothing that can be compared unto Him. Amongst the gods, who is like unto Him? He forgives all our sins and heals all our diseases. What an awesome God that we serve. What an awesome God we serve. Raka Sekete. Thank you, Jesus. Romans 12 verse 2 says, We should not conform to the patterns, to the thinking, to the culture of this world. For the Bible says we are in this world, but we are not of this world. And Romans 2, 12, 2 is reminding us that we should not conform to the thinking of this world, <clears throat> to the pattern of this world, but we, our minds should be renewed so that we can be transformed. Once we are being transformed, you know, <clears throat> we'll be able to then decipher the will of God, the perfect will of God, the acceptable will of God, the pleasing will of God for our lives. And how do we do that? By looking unto Jesus, who is the author and finisher of our faith. The Bible says, you know, he is the author and finisher of our faith. And that's why as we look unto him, we will not be squeezed, we will not be crushed by the, or we will not succumb to the culture of this world as we look up to him. But rather, we will look up to God, who is to the author, uh, author and finisher of our faith. Thereby, we, we are changed. We are transformed into his very image. Remember, as he said, he gave us gifts. He gave us, you know, teachers, pastors, evangelists, apostles, prophets, you know, the fivefold ministry. And what was the aim? So that the body of Christ may be built up. He also said, if as, as we look up to God, we are being changed, being transformed. Into his, very, into his very image. We are, we are being changed from glory to glory. How do we change from glory to glory? As we become, we change from glory, we are becoming, basically, we are becoming more. We are transforming into the very maturity of Christ. Because worldly thinking is immature when it comes to Christ. Because, in fact, the Bible also says, the foolishness of God is even wiser than human wisdom. Human wisdom meaning worldly wisdom, the way of doing things. But the, full, the, the human wisdom is also foolishness to God. So definitely, definitely there's a distinction between the thinking of God and the thinking of the world. And we are to uh, uh, adopt the thinking of God that we can come to the full maturity in Christ Jesus, being transformed into his very image. Thank you, Jesus, for new revelations every day. We bless you. Give us grace to be doers of your word and not hearers only. In Jesus.